at the outset i would like to thank dr shekhar for this webinar on a very important subject before i get into the topic i would like to mention a, a very briefly about the work which dr shekhar has been doing i met him for the first time in 1988 and then i was impressed by his thoughts and the work he was trying to do in 1988 uh, 2010 and 2012 around that time he came out with the concept of secure governance concept and we had detailed discussion when i was a chief secretary and we tried to introduce his concept in the state of maharashtra to some extent i am happy that these concepts have made great impact second is the covid management and the health sector uh, i mean i found a very interesting word which dr shankar would appreciate and others uh, he referred to one word which translates into health sector we have been talking of energy security to define it but the word that was used or rather i got translated as the health security uh, well it speaks volume of the focus of the government support to middle class and smes is something uh, that is the third focus of the government and his fourth government uh, on so the digital development or something uh, that uh, conforms to the vision which you had shared about the smart cities uh, and of course as i go along i'll explain as to how we could uh, use uh, this uh, policy uh, directives of the new government into uh, into the post covid world thank you dr matri and uh, especially thank you to akram hakbhai Uh, for inviting me to this uh, world education conference uh, it's my pleasure to be here uh, connecting online to the educationist of the world thanks sir thanks to dr shekhar and uh, mr akram of times policy for giving this opportunity probably this is third or fourth uh, time that i am on the times policy platform and it's a great pleasure to have krishnamurthy as my Hope and Alice, thank you, Krishnamurthy, uh, for that. Very much, Dr. Sekar, for that uh, wonderful presentation and uh, for your uh, gracious introduction. It's a great pleasure to be here in Nalna, and uh, I'm very keen in uh, supporting this move. Um, I'm very excited, happy, and uh, honored to be on this particular forum. this topic is mainly from the point of view of covid having really massacred india's economy massacred confidence and also it is like a world war 3 you know it is a world war where we do not know the enemy otherwise we have a strong army which can take care of anybody in the world but that army cannot fight this world war this world war is an economic world war healthcare world war world war for confidence building and here Only 0.8 percent of Indians are affected. Out of 0.8 percent, 98 percent are recovered. But this fact fact should indicate that there is nothing to be feared. But it has created so much fear, so much uh, this thing that we are all putting our minds together. And two great minds are there who are there and who have done tremendously good work on this particular field. You would all be very very happy to hear. Next many slides. I will just go through the slide. I will not comment much. Uh, you know, this is describing what is holistic health, physical, mental, emotional, social. Because you know, when we say healthcare, it has got a very complex dimension. For different people, different thing is healthcare, and healthcare has to be seen from the point of view of the user. So, <clears throat> I will not go very deep. The fact that you know, this is a very complex field. and a field in which india today has got an one of the best names whatever covid may have done uh, bad but it has at least brought india into the prominence because many times you know before covid we used to feel that we have to follow the west and follow others today west is following us even for the medicines even from the way we live and even for way we do things and here ayurveda and others are going to play are playing a great role and we have got two innovators about whom i will i will introduce in another 2 minutes so these are some of the statistics now we have got ayurveda college ayurveda as this but without conflicting with the allopathy medicine ayurveda comes as a very great add on and it is a self sustain as well as add on and uh, today the world over it has commanded it started commanding respect and uh, we have got even you know 
like uh, medical tourism ayurveda tourism is also getting recognized uh, throughout the world and it is attracting quite much of international attention in all these things secure governance is a self sustained economy will play a very very big role because secure governance is the one which gives a self sustained means where money need not be really coming from the system, from the system money you know through value addition will take care of the huge requirements which are uh, you know needed in each sectoral growth so coming to conclude holistic health depends upon the attitude and the way we want to do and there are enough experts we got enough uh, yeah, of uh, mindset is there and we will ensure it happens so i rushed through so that i could quickly hand over to our today's great speakers uh, we have two speakers dr narsimhan uh, jami he is an internationally acclaimed healthcare expert and he is a scientist in his own uh, rights and he has got various awards from various countries he has even addressed something like you know european world ayurvedic conference and he has been awarded in stanford and multiple universities in the west and keeping the field as ayurveda so and also he has done his own proprietary work uh, on uh, cancer and uh, high end medical uh, treatment and i would of course request him to talk few minutes about his own achievements and his own this thing and same way second speaker is dr balkrishnan he is saying he is having a uh, yeah, yeah different uh, view he has got his own proprietary uh, um, uh, healthcare system called uh, fingertip uh, revolution and which is doing some very great work uh, he met great london and he has also got a cure for covid and all which also i requested him to talk in this particular session he will give a presentation so i will start with dr jami and let him give the presentation fully and then dr balkrishna will give the presentation after both of giving the presentation we will have a discussion and uh, take it further uh, dr jami can you please uh, take the mic and uh, take the admin control and give your presentation absolutely absolutely um i'm going to share my my screen i think uh, I, i should have uh, um permission there you go is yeah. everybody able to see it yes okay you're able to see okay um so uh, thank you very much shaker i really appreciate it uh, my background is in uh, Um, biological chemistry uh, she is in trying to understand the influenza virus and how it actually uh, infects the uh, human body uh, my studies on in my during my phd days were in trying to understand how the primary the, the primary body defense mechanism works uh, against this uh, um, you know double stranded rna um, conversion that happens during the infection uh, then uh, after that uh, my postdoctoral work was at stanford i actually worked on dna damage uh understanding how uh, the body actually uh, repairs the dna post uh, radiation and and then i came back to india in 2005 quite a long time ago and i worked on um uh trying to understand how uh, the uh, we can have develop a low cost diagnostic uh, kit for people suffering from aids and that was actually awarded i developed a product in a, a company called reametrics and uh, that product was awarded the biospectrum product of the year in 2007 i believe Uh, i also further after that i worked on uh, um, you know india's uh, first indigenously developed recombinant streptokinase uh, as a first line defense for uh, cardiac uh, you know um, heart attacks i then decided to shift my focus to ayurveda for a, because i i come from a long family of uh, ayurvedic uh, vaidyas my uh, interest has always been in ayurveda and and my goal was to actually understand how we could use ayurveda uh, in a very scientific and contemporary manner to address various problems and uh, that's basically my uh, my theme of the the journey that i've taken over the last 10 years has been trying to understand ayurveda using scientific uh, uh, tools and techniques and um, uh, today i'm going to be talking about the role of ayurveda in a post covid world i um, i represent a company called uh, remedium therapeutics uh, i'm a director of the company and what they've actually done what remedium the goal that remedium sets out to do is is as follows we we really like to elucidate Uh, the mechanism of action safety and efficacy of modern day ayurvedic plants using scientific methods you know we want to use scientific methods we want to understand how these things work at the molecular level at, at the very you know basic level so that we are able to communicate the science explain the science behind ayurveda and the lingua lingua franca of the common man we we don't simply want to uh, uh, just stop with that we we want to market ayurveda in a scientific manner and increasing the confidence of the end consumer in ayurveda both domestic and international see one of the things that most people i've seen this 
so many so many times in so many fora uh, across various different uh, uh, countries is that you know you don't have any scientific basis this is whatever you had for the last uh, 7000 years 10000 years but is there a modern scientific methodology is there a modern scientific basis for you to say whatever you're saying and that's basically what remedium tries to do we're trying to understand and um, you know give all of this information using very solid scientific data and how we've rationalized the use of certain ingredients and how we've not uh, you know strayed away from the the path of rigorous science and that's very important to understand because that's basically the proof of the pudding is meeting you need to be scientific you need to make sure that you know when when you're actually uh, giving something for the safety and efficacy of of a patient you are able to back it up with a lot of scientific data and that's where remedium actually is uh, is i i would say a pioneer in 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 uh, combining ayurveda with modern science now a, a prime example is going to be covid 19 uh, we we started as soon as covid hit the world late 2019 very early 2020 uh, we actually got together and uh, very fine minds in the us um and I, i i was talking to them and then we 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 said you know what we should come up with a medicine for this definitely ayurveda has got answers for this there is definitely precedents before we need to understand how we can take that precedents and then and then modify it apply it and then prove it to covid and make sure that it actually is beneficial to mankind and basically that's what that's what we were trying to do and and i'll have to tell you the speed with which we had come up with this information the, the most important thing was we had to choose a target given that it's a virus uh, you know a virus always has cannot survive by itself it has to enter the cell and then procreate inside the cell so it uh, and uh, early on studies had shown that it was the ace2 receptor that was the uh, site of docking for this particular virus so, so the virus binds to the ace2 receptor ace2 receptor is nothing but the you know, angiotensin converting enzyme to receptor and that is that the renin angiotensin system has been shown to be part of a huge cascade of pathways across uh, the uh, the human body is a very important system and and it's not surprising that the, this particular coronavirus decided to choose that particular uh you know a receptor system so that and as as is uh, so body shown, the uh, the systemic failures the organ failures that you can get from covid-19 a, a very severe case of covid-19 can can large it can be it can be a lung damage it can be heart damage you can have uh you know uh, organ failure you can have kidney problems There's so many different ways in which uh, this has affected a lot of different people unfortunate people so we decided that you know we will have target this particular ace2 receptor let us see how that is going to actually is there is there a precedence in in ayurveda is there a precedent in precedence in our our system can we actually take do some docking studies can we figure out a way in which we can do some molecular modeling figure out how this actually helps in um, understanding where we're going to go and and attack this particular virus so we've developed a drug whose basis is in ayurveda and this drug tar- targets the viral spike protein the 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 host Uh, ac2 receptor and the spike protein interface that's exactly where we think this drug is working we have a lot of evidence a lot of uh, computer simulated models a lot of docking models where we've shown that this is exactly where we, were. we so this is where we started this was actually intelligent design right so we took a whole bunch of compounds we took a whole bunch of compounds we docked them and then we figured out where exactly which particular plant product was that particular uh, ingredient in the maximum quantity and we chose those to formulate this design so we we did not go backwards we went forwards we chose the receptor we chose the point where we wanted to address the issue we did a lot of uh, molecular docking a lot of uh, uh, computer simulation we came up with a particular uh, set of target molecules we chose which of these plants are enriched with these particular tar- target molecules and then we went and formulated it as opposed to what is typically typically done where we know something works and then we try to figure out how it works we didn't do it that way we actually went in the very traditional drug discovery um, uh, mode which is a which is a very 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 strong step for ayurveda right you know it's like you know how neil armstrong said small step for man but a giant leap for mankind that's exactly what we've done maybe a small step as far as um uh, you know a science is concerned but it's a giant leap for promoting the value of ayurveda that you can provide for uh various different uh, problems and diseases right so having said that 
how, how what we've done is we call this pro, uh, product Kuroquil. Uh, there are two versions of Kuroquil. One is a capsule, the other is a syrup. Uh, we've, we are well along the uh, product development pathway. Uh, we've actually developed the product. We've, um, you know, we've developed the two uh, pro dosage forms. One is a syrup and one is a capsule. Uh, we're uh, in the process of getting clinical trials done, and I'm going to share some of the data with you. You'll be amazed at how this intelligent design of an Ayurvedic system into a modern formulated drug is so efficacious in treating COVID. I'm, I'm going to share the data with you. This formula consists edible plant materials listed in the um, Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia. So we've used what is already there. We are not, we're not come up with any uh, newfangled uh, uh, plants. It's all indigenous, local to the Indian uh, subcontinent, not just the subcontinent in our country. It, it's been considered safe with no adverse effects, both in the pharmacopoeia and, and in our own experience as well. Uh, this contains plants widely grown in, in Tamil Nadu and across the country and contains proprietary zinc nanoparticles. And this is another thing that I'd like to uh, mention. You know, we've always known that zinc is a very, very important aspect for human immunity, right? So how do we make sure that you, you provide zinc in a, in a form that's not toxic to the human body? How do you do that? And that's again, uh, the answer again is in Ayurveda, where they've given a lot of different ways in which you can purify zinc, you can make zinc nanoparticles, and then use these in conjunction with various other herbal uh, products to give you a herbal mineral formulation. And that's exactly what we've done uh, as far as Coroquil ZN is concerned. Now, it's in, like I said, it's currently in phase three clinical trials. It is registered um, uh, in the clinical trial registry. Uh, it is a, the protocol has been approved by Ayush. It's an open two label arm. Um, it's a very unique uh, clinical trial, whereas typically what is done is you have the standard of care and then you have the standard of care to which you add a new drug. In our case, however, we, we, because of the, um, the strong science behind how we've gone about and developed the product, we've got permission to actually use two different, um, two different arms. One is a standard of care, the other is a Coroquil ZN standalone arm, which is a very, very difficult thing to do and can only be done if you have a very strong scientific basis for formulating the drug. It's a randomized clinical trial. Uh, it's parallel design. We do, we're doing it in single patient in a single center. Uh, we're doing it for about 120 patients. As a matter of fact, as we speak, um, uh, the 120th patient uh, is going to finish his 14-day uh, trial by uh, the end of this week. I think March 24th or 25th is when uh, he's going to get done. Uh, the uh, there are two endpoints. Uh, the primary and secondary endpoints are the uh, its efficacy in mild to moderate COVID-19 based on the WHO standards. You know who has got five five uh, cases of severity, we're using that. And then uh, the safety is safety, not just the efficacy, but also the safety in mild to moderate patients. Okay, um, now I'm going to show very very quickly to the layman, I'm going, I'm going to just distill down the, um, uh, the results of the clinical trial. What we've shown, the blue, the blue graph is uh, the treatment arm, a Coroquil ZN treatment arm. The red is the standard of care. Um, and the green is when the patients become viral negative. That is, they no longer have the coronavirus in them, right? What we've shown is that by day five, D1, D5, D7, D15 are day one, day five, day seven, and uh, day 15, um, day 14. So we've shown that by day five, okay, we have had some serious effect in terms of the efficacy of uh, Coroquil ZN in patients with uh, um, uh, COVID-19, and by day seven, a large population, nearly 90% of them have become viral, uh, virus negative, right? This is tremendous, uh, uh, you know, uh, effect in terms of their ability, ability of this particular drug to make a difference to a person's quality of life. And uh, obviously by day 14, both of them uh, are quite efficacious and we've had actually 100% uh, uh, people turning negative. Okay, now, and one more thing that is very, very important is the, the reduction of the viral load. Now, viral load is a very common term that people use during discussions of uh, uh, COVID. Uh, you know, it's the amount of virus present, number of molecules of the viral, uh, viral uh, uh, DNA, RNA present in the um, um, uh, human body. Uh, we've seen that our viral load reduction is greater than two times. So it more than doubles in terms of its efficacy when compared to the standard of care. So I'm not sure if I'm, uh, I'm trying to be as, uh, um, as uh, non-scientific as possible because we have a wide range of audience. Basically, suffice it to say that um, we 
when compared to the standard of care, Coroquil ZN works about two times faster, greater than two times faster. Okay, the change in viral load, right? So that's basically what we want to say that, you know, it is a lot faster in its efficacy uh, and it actually makes the patient feel so much better. Uh, and another thing that we want to talk about is the other ancillary side effects that they have, like patients with uh, uh, COVID have, you know, the loss of smell, the lack of taste, all of those things, all of those have also been very well addressed. Uh, and this is just to show you the uh, uh, fact that there have been no, ad zero, zero adverse effects during phase three clinical trials that we've, we've uh, done. Coroquil ZN patients have shown a steady decrease of the viral load. That's point number one. Uh, the severity level has been kept decreasing according to the WHO ordinal scale. Like, you know, I was telling you the one, two, three, four, five, the, that it regularly decreased as we wanted it to. Um, the oxygen saturation levels were good throughout. So we've had throughout patients greater than 95, no adverse, adverse effects at all. They recovered the taste and smell by the eighth day of consuming the drug. And all of the patients got discharged much faster than the standard of care patients. Now, uh, just to be on the hygiene aspect of things, uh, both Coroquil ZN and the standard of care had equal distribution of uh, gender as well as uh, age group. So what we have concluded and what we are, we are planning to say is that Coroquil ZN has both therapeutic and prophylactic uses. So people obviously with COVID can take Coroquil ZN uh, as is proven by the clinical trials, it seems to be very, very uh, effective in, in making sure that they get back to the, the road to recovery much faster. Prophylactically, I think it makes a lot of sense because, because Coroquil ZN works at the point of entry of the virus, right? You, if you, and, and we have obviously used molecules that prevent that entry, right? That, that stop that, that uh, uh, docking of the viral uh, particle to the receptor. We think this can be used very, very um, effectively as a prophylactic measure. Um, and unlike the vaccine, Coroquil ZN's target is as an interface of the ACE2 viral receptor, uh, that particular junction. Uh, this is going to be very effective in, in terms of preventing uh, the uh, uh, COVID-19. Remember, the vaccine is to make sure it, it does not, it, it, is a, it is a completely different mode of action as compared to our prophylactic use. So basically what we want to do is we want to get doctors to evangelize the use of Coroquil ZN as an OTC drug. So that's going to be the one of the things that we want to do. And uh, compared to the competition, Coroquil has shown to be C, very, very safe, uh, extremely effective. And obviously it will be a lot cheaper than uh, the remdesivir and the favipiravir of the world. Uh, the, the vaccine, even though it's only 250 rupees, it will not cure somebody who already has COVID-19. Please remember, that's a huge difference. It's only used, it's been used to manage the pandemic, right? So there's a difference. The role of the vaccine is very different. The role of Coroquil ZN is very different. These have to be complementary to each other. Uh, you, you need to have both going on at the same time to make sure that people are in a very healthy situation. So again, to, to put it together, uh, Coroquil ZN cures patients, already infected patients within seven to nine days. It blocks COVID-19 if it's consumed as a prophylactic. Um, and then it has got zero side effects because all of these are edible plants. And uh, we've, we've got really good clinical evidence that shows that patients get discharged from the hospital much sooner than the, um, the standard of care, right? So what, what we want to do and how we want to help this, uh, the cause of uh, the reincarnation, as Dr. Shaker eloquently put, is that we want to use our Ayurveda, which has already provided us with a wealth of information uh, and riches in terms of naturally available medicines. We want to take those, right? We want to convert it into a scientifically rigorous, uh, you know, uh, safe drug, okay? By understanding the mechanism of action of these natural products and then give it to the, uh, the population so that they can benefit from the wonders of Ayurveda without having to wonder whether, you know what, is it safe? You know, are there going to be any side effects? Is this, is this something that, you know, is it just black magic? Is it just voodoo? There is no scope for any of these things going on in the way we have decided to address the problem. We've decided that this is a problem using science. And when you have science-backed data, it becomes very, very easy for people to get the buy-in, right? So you, you can get the buy-in from people when you are able to prove things using modern science. Because that's very important because there's, the science is there for a reason. We need to uh, harness the power of science. We need to use the use the uh, the technology that's available to us, but use the, the the wonderful medicines of nature 
to address the problems that we have been facing so far and that's exactly what we've done at remedium we've chosen key natural ingredients analyzed the constituents for their mode of action formulated the drug and then tested it successfully right so we hope we hope uh, as a company we hope to have provided a blueprint for many other companies to join hands in making the world a better place so please remember this is not this is not a commercial angle at all we are, we are here to uh, we we took one aspect of the entire journey of the covid-19 pandemic we decided that we will take that one particular uh, receptor find out what are the various different uh, ingredients that can block that receptor we use that as uh, the starting point and we hope a lot of companies follow suit they also use ayurveda as its basis but use modern science to go ahead and develop drugs for various different diseases i mean the, as mankind evolves you're only going to get more and more diseases and more and more uh, you know situations like we are and we should without any hesitation whatsoever turn to ayurveda to guide us but use modern science to make sure that we get to the next level thank you thank you very much dr shekhar for this wonderful opportunity thank you thank you dr asman wonderful to hear that you know you are putting you know in india we are generally a guru shishya relation guru mm -hmm. says and the shishya follows in science guru himself is question so we have to see how we can merge the two because we are not documented well maybe many other things have not taken shape and now, now that you are doing it i am sure many will follow through an excellent work very nice to uh, see this type of work going on thank you I thank have you so my second speaker who has got something wonderful to tell you and tell others also in terms of the actual work done by him and he has been doing this uh, with the zealot of a you know a person who wants to do something great for the country great for him his own discoveries he has himself uh, done uh, his own therapies and all of course you may not have time for all those but he will give a summary of all those things starting from his own personal uh, uh, achievements and the actual thing which are there for the world to take up dr balakrishnan please namaste i am dr balakrishnan the founder chairman of iihcc an ngo providing holistic healthcare solutions i am a scientist and an r and d engineer and also an alternate care healthcare practitioner nearly 15 years ago i invented a new healing technique called ftr that is fingertip revolution for which the trademark already issued and global patent pending ftr removes stress and helps us recover from diseases naturally i have healed thousands of people around the globe last 15 years my aim is to reach out my healing method to the world at large i want to reduce the sufferings of mankind caused due to disease management my research has now led me to an invent to invent a natural nanotech based solution for the global pandemic based on ftr let me let me discuss ayurveda first it has historical roots in the indian subcontinent ayurveda is proven to have effective cures for more than 5000 years ayurveda aims to keep st structural functional entities in a state of equilibrium which signifies good health of a person earth water fire air space are the basic elements panja bodas needed in a body which is also present in the universe around the person in a certain proportions the deviations in panja bodas in the main is the main cause for any disease the concept is to restore panja boda to right up proportion which helps us to get back our health now ayurveda and krimi krimi that is infection treatment there are three basic daily drugs in ayurveda krimi is krimi is the sanskrit word for the virus and bacteria in ayurveda text sleshma krimi is described as an infection exactly covid like 
19 that is novel covid 19 it is described as something very minute not seeable by naked eye and also round in shape and having spikes on them this is what the description also is there drugs and formulations from, from natural sources in those days played a key role in cause in curing the infections that one day have come up with the formula which i'll discuss later what is covid 19 pandemic covid 19 is an infectious disease caused by newly discovered novel corona virus this virus is only pseudo live it causes rna dna in cells to attack the immune system the most common symptoms of covid 19 include one dry cough fever loss of smell taste and shortness of breath allopathic way of looking at covid 19 allopathic management of covid 19 is mainly supportive care which is a treatment to relieve symptoms currently vaccination is underway over this prevention or for covid 19 for the whole world the production is based on the theory of generating antibodies within the body the production protection starts after about 45 days of the second shot till that time one can potentially still get infected vaccination does not address all the strains of the virus and also further of the mutations the exact efficacy and the period it prevents is yet to be ascertained the side effects of the vaccines and safety on children is yet to be established next next slide my herbal invention for the current pandemic aqua native spray this is purely water based first point and also first of its kind biofilm in the world a spray for the matter the trademark has been issued and the patent is pending this spray is based on principles of ayurveda completely in respect of panjabudas aqua native stuns the virus and stop the evolution by gripping it gripping it that's what the virus gets deactivated and our body gets a normal state of health this spray has unique combination of special herbs which are readily available in india as well as maybe elsewhere also are infused to a specifically treated herbal water using nano particle approach it contains ingredients such as holy basil these herbs are known to reset the human system if attacked by the virus and also prevent any kind of invasion this herbal formulation ensures the water based spray is safe to use for years very important how does aqua native spray work for prevention aqua native immediately forms a biofilm on the sprayed surface let it be nostril passage in our mouth anywhere on the face or on the hands and palm within 20 30 seconds of spraying it instantly deactivates the virus bacteria shields the skin from virus bacteria invasion hence this protects the user from user from and any bacteria or virus including corona virus this also proven in clinical trials conducted by allopathic ayurvedic doctors and we should we should use the spray three times daily on hands and face and mouth this will keep as prevented from the virus it is safe for ages from 1 to 100 probably beyond india presents the first chemical free i repeat first chemical free protection and cure very easy to use spray to the world india should be proud of this fast to act with an efficacy rate of 99.99% aqua native needs to be sprayed on face 
inside the mouth and the hands five times daily. This will deactivate the virus and stop multiplication. Within 48 hours, the patient will be free from symptoms, which have been verified a couple of times. The test will also show negative in a very short time, which is also verified. This is proven in clinical trials conducted by allopathic and oil doctors on patients infected with the virus even seriously. Techno creativity behind this. The unique herbs are selected based on the principles of five essential elements and the laws of nature, such as law of symmetry, law of conservation of energy, law of opposites, and law of contradiction. The four fundamental laws of pure science, which is called mathematics. All this led me to the actual way of finding out the and making it suitable for the corona attack. Not only that, bacteria and whatever it may be. The selected herbs are then infused into herbal water using nanoparticles approach. That's what the present day medication should be so. Nanotechnology offers multiple health benefits in treating human diseases by site specific and target oriented delivery of the medicine. Being nano size, the penetrates, this penetrates into tissue system, facilitate, facilitate easy uptake of the drug by the cells, permit an efficient drug delivery, and ensure action at the targeted location and a reasonable time. Case studies of aquanitio spray. Over 1,500 patients, ages varying from 1 to 90, were used in trials. We had a mix of people with no symptoms, mild symptoms, acute symptoms. This product was tested for safety. No one showed any discomfort or allergic reaction. In fact, it helped some skin managed allergies to subside within a few seconds. We conducted clinical trials on patients infected with COVID-19 to test efficacy and on the general public for prevention. This was done by more than 100 allopathic doctors and a few oil doctors. We all got 99.99% efficacy and a very, very short time. And this helped us to clear one level of authenticity. Now, immune responses. People with asthma, allergies, diabetes, blood pressure, respiratory problems, autoimmune diseases, heart problems, arthritis, and many others were part of the trial. It was noted that all these people found, our, found relief, very good relief, after the spray was administered, and chronic allergies and respiratory problems showed considerable improvement. Diabetic patients did not see a rise in sugar level, and in some cases, Values actually drop. Hot patients could breathe better and no undue cardi cardiac variations were noticed after the use of prey. The immune response, cold and cough, was very good. The lab results show that bacteria are deactivated in less than 30 seconds. In less than 30 seconds. Immune response is very, very good. Above all, the well being of the patient is the first thumb rule to evaluate good health, and this was very much experienced by one and all. Not by the list, least. People who got relief between 5 and 40 hours of starting the spray, depending on the severity. All people asymptotic or symptomatic who were administered aqua native spray have fully recovered. Even patients admitted in the ICU have recovered very, very well. No side effects, no skin irritation, no inflammation, no other reactions were seen. The, the dosage varied from twice daily to about five times daily, depending on the severity of the case. Case studies report by allopathic doctors. It is already shown. Please see the screen. And 
that describes clearly how it is people have been shown to be benefited ayurveda and also ayurveda has given a report screen go to all pages they are done verified systematically super science for a complete safe cure i say super science because for the first time five panjabodas is known to be how to combine them instead of vada pitta kava and it is a whole problem or maybe the dynamics of the bacteria or the virus we can defeat it based on the principle of ftr ftr has shown the way how to defeat any kind of disease not only corona many many other diseases please look into my ftr ihsp.net ihsp.net there are no concerns about the strains of mutations to come yes you are you are so called my my active acquainted one you are sure to stop that it's complete and safe cure according to the one one stop solution for any virus or bacteria menaka we have only benefits no side effects the moment you start using the spray you are protected from virus there is no settling time required no emergency is used or addressed no emergency no emergency usage is addressed sorry no emergency usage is addressed already inflicted people can be back to normal in less than 48 hours which has been verified by number of times school going children need not be worried need not miss learning due to fear of pandemic adults elders can lead a normal life without fear of the pandemic if they have spray in their hand a boon for now and forever the wonderful methodology from india from ayurveda safe natural preventive and cure this is a dream come true from our humanity we have within us a scientifically proven safe efficient easy protection and cure it starts is action on day one and resets the body to original state in a very very faster way suitable to everyone age no bar the beginning of an end for any virus or bacteria threatening the human beings thank you all that is really a big 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 comfort and also as we can see from whatever our both the speakers are saying that they are now getting into different uh, uh, evolution otherwise in our typical indian system even though our own grandmothers used to cure many things but things were not so well documented things were not so well uh, proven beyond certain doubts and today our mind is what we call as a scientific mind has its own requirements and that seems to be uh, going forward in terms of actual uh, documentation of the process actual uh, you know the trials which are required for various types of mindsets to be more properly oriented so that the acceptance is you know without any doubt now as we start concluding today's show few points which we have to know today the whole world is looking at india for their own survival and sustenance yes they are very prosperous they are all in multi trillions and we are just going to be in somewhere in the lower portion of trillions but as humans we are highly respected as our own speaker dr narsimhan has uh, done they i mean we we are there means people feel confident that something good is going to happen that's what he must have experienced when he went to stanford when he was invited to it is almost associated with six universities in uh, uh, west in terms of europe you say i can see so same way as <clears throat> dr balkrishnan is doing he is having his own therapy he is having his own and with some basis he is not one of those who says i am saying you do don't ask me what it is that is what is the typical uh, phenomena which uh, because of which we could not really uh, proceed now for concluding today's show i would like to have two few minutes of both of you uh, time starting with uh, dr jammi narsimhan that what is it that we can look forward to what is it the common man can look forward to see my my uh, fear or fear of all of us is we should not confuse the common man with too many things so that you know they do not know what to do the moment some x comes y how can we complement how can we ensure that and uh, even though everybody consider themselves educated today even the most educated is not educated 
because of the information bank which is happening. Before we say sun is rising in the west, there are people who say sun does not exist at all and sun is all flat world theory, there is nothing as a solar system. And there is some group which believes that is correct. <laughs> and they have got all the so-called scientific evidence to prove what they are saying is right. Same way, whatever we say, there is something. But a common man deserves something by which you know we start. Um, uh, they should not feel that all these so-called knowledgeable people are making me fool. You know, they are confusing me with so many things which are you know which I do not know. Whereas a simple food, simple the thing, they all welcome. Same way, how to project it in the simplest possible way by which it is acceptable, by which it is the, the rich man can pay ten times. You know, we should in fact we should follow the Robin Hood philosophy. Let rich man play can pay ten times and then it can subsidize others because they want to uh, see the world in a different way. For them, the more the number of zeros on the right side, more they'll believe you. So if you say all this 200, 300, they will not take it. Same thing you say two lakh and put it in a glamorous thing. I think you all should do that. But the common man, we form the bulk of the people. We They deserve something good from us. They deserve something which is not free, but reasonably cost effective, reasonably good for them so that they have a sustained life. So yeah. my small two minute conversation which I want to have is, what is it that they can look forward to? How the common man who is bulk of our thing and how the rich man in their own way they can, uh, they can do because we should satisfy their uh, <laughs> requirements also. Uh, Dr. Jami, can you please? Uh... Yeah, so uh, by definition, in if you actually look at a lot of things that are Ayurvedic in origin, they are not expensive. Okay, number one, that's number one, right? So that's where, that is exactly where the problem has been for the last several uh, decades, maybe even a century or so. Uh, there's been a mindset that if it's not expensive, then it's not good. That is something that is a very, very strong, uh, you know, mindset that people have that if it, it, that, you know, it has to be expensive, only then it's good. So what we are trying to do is we're trying to break that mode, right? So we're, by doing the science, by making sure that, you know, we, we have the day. See, one wonderful thing about science is that it's self-correcting, right? You know, you cannot, you cannot, in, in the quest for money, you, you cannot bypass science. And that's exactly what we've held as sacrosanct in our in our uh, venture at Remedium. Is that we will, we said that whatever we do is going to be backed by science. And once it's backed by science, there's no question of people having to worry about the uh, the integrity or the efficacy or the validity of what we are adding. Because you know, if you if you have a, a you know a very traditional approach to things, you would just probably say you know here here take this take this little. Uh, Churna or take this little uh, packet, have this, you'll be okay. Now, now that that those days are all gone, right? Those days are all gone, and it worked at a certain point in time about a hundred years ago because the Vaidya himself was a very very learned man and he was was a man of very high integrity, so he could do that and get away with it. But now you have a lot of quacks, you have a lot of people who will who will you know say whatever they want to say to make a quick buck. So that system will no longer work. Therefore, what we've done, we've, what we've done to address the fears of the common man, so to speak, is to be very scientific, very, very rigorous in our science to make sure that, you know, when we pick something, when we choose a particular ingredient, there is a very solid science behind it. And we are waiting to be able to talk about it in, a, in an open forum once we have all the required permissions and things to do so. So that you know we can explain to people because we would have done the science we we, we actually believe believe me sir we are waiting to, to shout from the rooftops as to how this works right the science behind it so all we're doing is to wait for the entire set of you know the uh, regulatory aspects to be done so that that's another thing that we that we've done we've been very very careful about is that we do not want to bypass or shortcut any regulatory requirements if the government says you have to do this then we are making sure that we tick that box Right? So we're making sure. So that's another another thing that the common man should be very, very, uh, you know, strongly. Uh, um, uh, it should give him a lot of courage, a lot of uh, uh, sat satisfaction. Like, you know what? This is a company that's going to give us uh, stuff that actually uh, has been validated by the government, has made, made sure that it's gone through clinical trials, it has done the science. So that's basically how we're trying to address the issues of the common man. And to be very frank with you, sir, we're not really even looking at the rich people. Right? This is not. This is not. This is not meant for the rich people. This is actually meant only for the common man. Thank you. Thank you. That is excellent. 
Sir. Of course, not the rich man fault. Rich man is their own thing. We, we cannot. Yeah, they're, they're, they're welcomed by some. Their lifestyle is different. The thinking is different. And because rich man also wants for the poor man. <laughs> Only <laughs> with the little more, more number of zeros on the right side, they become rich man. <laughs> okay. So we have to we have to take care of both because the bulk is very large. Bulk is very dispersed. Bulk requirements are very high. And uh, they are all simple and uh, they, they, they believe in everything. So we should not uh, ensure that they are not let down. That is what, uh, you know, we are for. Now, coming to Dr. Balakrishnan, you, you, you have done trial from your data. We find that almost 1,500 people have got remedy and you got almost 99.9% uh, 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 people have uh, come out of the disease or whatever way you have treated them. And what next in terms of a national point of view? No, not your product point of view. In terms of national point of view, how things like whatever you have done will play a role in, in, in its multiplication, not only to India, uh, to a global world. Because today, you know, again, as I repeat, globally, when we interact with people, they are all looking for many things that some magic India is going to do. Okay, This is a clear cut feel from various people, various countries, people who are once slightly, you know, for them India didn't even exist or they were hostile or they were having a negative view that India only has got, uh, you know, um, you know uh, uh, tigers and uh, uh, <laughs> uh, this thing going on the street. But they all look at us in a, uh, in a very different way. It's very surprising the amount of, uh, you know, uh, feel which they have, even for Ayurveda. Ayurveda was a late beginner. Because as you know, even in a place like USA, you know, yoga is a $80 billion business. Ayurveda is not even touched $1 billion. You know, such a big this thing. Whereas uh, from an Indian point of view, yoga is a small portion of Ayurveda. <laughs> you know, but that is $80 billion. This doesn't even touch $1 billion. But there is today an appreciation. People like Middle East, where anything to do with Ayurveda was first banned. They didn't even think it is worth talking. Today, they are encouraging, they are welcoming these type of uh, medicines and these type of systems to come. And uh, but even in China, with all the hostility, uh, they are looking forward to India for many things, maybe at one layer low or two layers lower than the topmost hierarchy. There is a warm feeling that, yes, India is doing going to do something good. So we better do justice to this expectation. Dr. Balkishan, how would you look at it from a national reincarnation point of view? Yeah. Uh, whatever work uh, you are doing, your field is doing. May not, you are doing an excellent job. Your field and the uh, India and the globe. Uh, actually, Hakka Native is the India's pride. Ayurveda is Indian property. So is all, so also aquanative. I agree with Dr. Jambi. Easy and safe to use, cost effective. Ayurveda. Ayurveda. That's what it is. Any product of that is very easy and safe. No fear of side effects at all. Herbal care is the best scientific but natural. Perfect solution for the 21st century. Very useful for emergency, that's what important here. And we get solutions, no scare at all, so that this product should be of very use in the hands of very poor and needy, as well as middle class worker maybe. If the poor require this thing, so in that interest will be done for the whole, in whole of India, population, in, and for the world at large. Anything else to be? And basically it works five elements being balanced. That's what it is. Here, the five elements changes taking place in the body, every human being after corona inundation will be addressed easily, effectively by the herb, our herbal combination that's a prey. Since it is nanoparticle, it penetrates deep into the system, into the blood also and changes the panjabodas, which is in the blood stream. To normal value. As a result, they get the quick cure, instantaneous cure. In many cases, within about 30 seconds to one minute, it got. They get the peacefulness. The after effects of that will not be there. Thereby, the confidence will be built up very seriously, right from child, yeah, just born child also. This can be used. Well, very, very safe. I have tested it and tried it. And even just born child, 
as a preventive. And we have done preventive tests for more than 2,000 people. And they are today completely free of last nine months. They have not taken any medicine except the spray. Another point is fingertip revolution is also done as a remedial measure for corona. I have also put it up from uh, the, what are the com combinations of fingertips to prevent yourself once you and this outcome of this spray is only outcome of the derived from the basic FTR, which I popularized all long back. Soon as the PM announced it, the very first day I announced about the anti-corona FTR. Based on that FTR, only this solution has been arrived at. Because FTR completely balanced from within your own body. So also your equivalent herbal combination will do that. And it's fortunately they have been tested very by completely by allopathic doctors more than that. They have given testimonials as well as they have given their own names and signatures, whatnot, supporting this work. So hope the whole world will look at it for this and India will should be pride of real solution, perfect solution, easy way. Just water, no chemical, above all. Thank you, thank you. So, so with that, you know, I would like to give my last minute uh, conclusion. So, Ayurveda, holistic medicines, they are all there to stay. We have got experts like the two speakers here who represent a huge domain of it, almost five to 10,000 year old uh, development, which is being brought back for the world's survival. Now, the word survival is a very dramatic word that I'm using only because of COVID. Otherwise, it is for world's growth. That's why even the world reincarnation we are using because of COVID. Otherwise, it is again going to be growth. So today, because of the way things have affected every aspect of life, so we need something good and something good which needs to be presented well. We may do the best thing, but not because many things when we look at India's this thing, they do something good and not package it well. They do something good, but not presented well. They do something good that is not installed well. They do something good which is not maintained well. Now, the uh, because of our international exposure, we have to thank the world, whatever may be our pride in our past. We should know that many things which we are doing had its own deficiency. That is why we also lost out for 800 years. Okay, So that particular aspect is getting corrected. Now, whatever in the past, we say, oh, we had Vayu 5,000 years back. But where is the documentation? Where is the proof? What happened in advanced version? We do not know. So we can be proud, but but we should not be over zealous about it. We know that you know those things needed need our today's uh, you know value addition and a huge amount of uh, you know reengineering, which we should do, and which I I am very happy to know that you know you are all doing and bringing it. And I'm, I I only hope that you all would present it to the world the way the world wants today. We always have a small joke that you know give the fox in a plate and a crane in a jig jug. They both will eat. Now we try to give a, a crane in a plate and a fox in a jack and both don't eat. <laughs> so same way, let us present the way in which the other person wants. Let us not try to only teach everybody. That we are like this, we are great, we are great, we are government doesn't even has not even heard about it. Whereas we say that we are like this, this is what you are going to benefit, this is what will happen. Even if it doesn't benefit, it will not spoil you. And these are the 10 guys who are the thing. Give the documentation. Let us not consider everything to be too secret. Or like our old Guru Shisha relation. Since my Guru has told, nobody should even ask anything. Which cannot be true. Today, even a son does not believe the father unless, you know, uh, he sees that, yes, that whatever they are doing is really right. And that, I'm again thankful that both of you are doing it in the most scientific and very, very good way. And uh, best wishes to both of you. And with that, I will conclude today's uh, you know, interesting and very enlightening program for Ayurveda and holistic uh, approach to a long-term, very good healthcare and a prosperous India and the world. Thank you so much.